Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018. <clears throat> While I'm shuffling the cards, um, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for uh, Cancer Star Sign and it is not your personal reading. Uh, therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is uh, listed down below uh, in the description of this video and there uh, you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and also if you find these reports helpful um, and you want to know even more about cancer star sign specifically career and relationship wise uh, you can uh, purchase the monthly extended tarot reading from my website for just $1.49 uh, in which video <clears throat> I'm making two spreads one for career specifically and one for relationship for the star sign of cancer so that being said, uh, this is going to be a five card tarot spread <clears throat> and the first card is going to be regarding the topic of your month cancers and we do have the eight of wands so uh, <clears throat> this is a, a very dynamic card it is a card um, pointing that things are gonna come and go um, many in the old books this card is displayed like uh, uh, th there are uh, many opportunities that are coming and they are flying by and they are going with the flow if not seized and if not catched. Um, literally this is the translation of the card and it will depend on your personal situation how it's going to manifest but you can expect that for example if your career isn't going very well well you will have multiple opportunities to improve it if your relationship isn't going very well you will have multiple opportunities to improve it none of them however it is carved in stones you can seize it or you can let it go it will depend on you it will depend on uh, the agility of your mind <clears throat> and also the uh, the vastness of your mind in the sense of that should you be able to foresee it coming as well and uh, <clears throat> also it, it kind of involves a certain amount of risk all right because uh, um, you can just take on so much opportunities uh, that's why you have to be from that specific sense be very careful how you capitalize on them the eight of uh, the eight of wands from another hand it's a card of um, how can I explain it it's a card of giving expression of your creativity of your uh, of your ability to to create to uh, ability of creation <clears throat> so that being said you can um, not initialize but you can construct uh, a lot of things regarding your career you can construct some structures into your relationship as well and as a matter of fact if we're talking about relationship this card is very positive for settling down disagreements <clears throat> as uh, you and your partner you know will have the opportunity to see the world from the other pe person's shoes so you can uh, definitely capitalize on that but uh, just uh, so much can be said just from that card here and uh, what I can tell you for sure cancers is that throughout uh, November you should be open for everything new that comes in your way for every enterprise and especially surprise that is happening because every single one of them it is a opportunity for you to capitalize on the next one, uh, this is going to be um, the intentions that you should have and we do have the devil card and the devil is capability one to feed one's soul and what that means is that one or you cancers are advised to do things which you truly like to satisfy that hunger that you are bearing deep within should that be hunger for sex well then go and make sex you know should that be a hunger for money well then capitalize on those opportunities which are um, 
involving uh, a, a lucrative opportunities will you uh, are you have a hunger for love well capitalize those opportunities which are promising you new loves uh, the, the thing is that as i said you will have many of them but you have just so much capability to capitalize and to take advantage of you can't have all so that's why you have to choose wisely and what we do have here with the devil card is that you should choose according to what your soul needs and uh, hearing that probably you will say well what this guy is talking about of course i'm going to do that but will you that is the thing because uh, <laughs> you know the very simple formula of happiness is that one should do only what one pleases and then you will never be unhappy but uh that is not true. Many, 99.99% .99 of the people doesn't do that. For example, I don't think that you are waking up every morning being thrilled to go to work and to work for someone else, to make them money, you know, and to just satisfy with your salary. I don't believe that this is something you, you would like to do. And there are people who, despite going at work, there are people who do not like uh, to see Facebook, for example, running, etc., etc. So you cannot. My point here is, is that you cannot do all the time what uh, what you want, and this is a prerequisite of one feeling unhappy. However, throughout this month, that's why you have to focus on what your soul needs. You have to ask first what you need, do it, and then if you have the time take under consideration what the rest of the world is needing. This is the expression of the devil card. But the first thing you have to define here is where your hunger lies. What do you miss in your life? The next card is the challenges which are causing predicaments for you. Uh, this is going to be the five of wands. We do have a lot of competition, people that are going to struggle against your hunger. So we are seeing that um, <clears throat> not everybody will be agreed with your code of conduct, doing what you or what you want to do, and that is kind of obvious. All right. And also this card points that there will be a lot of surprises, kind of synergizes with the Eight of Wands. And as a surprise, I'm talking about around turns. So uh, things cannot be predicted and <clears throat> to their full extent. And because you may at certain point feel yourself kind of uh, uncertain of how, thing, uh, of how things are going to develop and what will be the final outcome, of, uh, of your undertaking that may uh, make you a little bit uh, hectic um, that could um, kind of like uh, uh, embark within you the uh, sense of uh, aggression and uh, the sense of being ready for battle and for war that will be the prerequisite uh, that, that will be the predicament that you have to face here a little bit sitting on the edge all right and <laughs> this is uh, <clears throat> what i'm trying to say and when we talk about the five of uh, wands that may be also a sign that someone wants something that you do have so be careful of that as i said competition five of wands competition they play dirty so just be just be careful about that also this card may involve a, a changing of strategy so if something isn't working you have to adopt different strategy here and that could be as well a predicament for you uh, cancers maybe you are on the outing about your uh, about the way you perform maybe you are also stubborn uh, and this is something you need to kind of uh, revisit and uh, place different criteria for yourself should something isn't working in your life. And the next card is the resources that you can uh, uh, that you can make usage of. We do have the death card. It's a beautiful card by the way. Just look at it. It's it's awesome card. Uh, we do have the death card. <clears throat> so as I said a lot of things are going to experience around turns. This is what the dead card is telling you. This is the resource you can capitalize on, the changes. And uh, even though you are not forewarned of those changes, this card is pointing that these changes are going to severely work in your favor. Even if you cannot 
predict with a, a huge amount of accuracy how things are going to develop they will develop in your way so as soon as you know uh, something isn't evolving the way you are predicting this is exactly the uh, direction that you should push on further and reshape the course of history if I may say alright because the death card here is a resource pointer that you can entirely reshape your career you can entirely reshape your relationship regarding your own image because you have the support of the devil here intentional wise and the devil is a huge amount of power guys the devil it is one of the most powerful cards in the tarot deck but you have to be very determined when you do have it on your side you need to have clear crystal clear vision of how you are to exert that power in your life otherwise the devil manifests as a very um this with very despondent properties it manifests with very destructive nature so that's why you need to first and foremost throughout this month make yourself clear of what you want to achieve and start working toward it uh, <clears throat> then at the end we do have the final outcome and we do have the two of wands so the two of wands at the end points that you are to have a, a possibility to uh, expand your skills your knowledge and your situation as well so that being said uh, you will have the opportunity to expand your career or uh, to expand your relationship that is one thing the other thing is that you will have the right to demand all right it's kind of like you, you will have the right to demand uh, promotion you will have the right to demand a, a certain uh, luxuries when it comes to relationship as well or to demand certain answers it depends on your situation what you are feeling deprived of this card uh, here has a final outcome based on the opportunities you take on and you truly exert your power and take advantage of the change which you can incorporate in reshape it in the way you want at the end this will gonna this is gonna give you full dom uh, full dominions over the situation here over the relationship and you are to call the next course of action or the next course of of direction all right so uh, this is a, a month where you are the Picasso and you are to draw the painting of your next of your recent uh, of your near future excuse me all right so i hope that uh, your hand i'm going to flinch and uh, you know you are true to yourself and you're gonna draw the painting exactly the way you want it so that being said uh, cancers this was your monthly tarot reading for november 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, again this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy on the, uh, in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings also uh, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know more specifically about your career and relationship uh, there will be an, an extended monthly tarot reading that can be purchased for just $1.49 and in that video I'm going to do two spreads that covers up exactly career path for cancer and relationship path for cancer so uh, that being said, Rod signing off now. See you next time. Bye.